Hello, grade 11. So we're continuing with the reduction formula. We're going to be working from slides 49 to 55 from the trig PowerPoint. So uh, what we're going to be dealing today with now is not so much like we did yesterday with an unknown angle like theta. We're going to be reducing a known angle to an acute angle. Also, we're going to be dealing with angles greater than 360. And I'll show you in a second how we deal with those. So uh we going on to example three and the question for each one of these is write each of the following as a function of an acute angle okay so you remember an angle between zero and 90. so if we look at the first one they want us to do sine 312 degrees okay so if i draw up my cast diagram Okay, 312 degrees we know is going to be in the fourth quadrant because it's between 270 and 360. So we know we're in the fourth quadrant with this one. Okay, and from that, what we know from uh, yesterday's work is in that quadrant, we have 360 minus something would give us this. So all I do and I'm just going to show you a side note here, is I'm going to find out what gave, what was our little angle, our acute angle. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to say 360 minus this 312. And we will get, so if we do that on the calculator, we get 48. So you can see there, what we did is we said 360 minus 48 gave us that 312. So we have our acute angle. Second of all, like I said, we know we're in the fourth quadrant. So we know that this sine is going to be negative. So this is going to be negative sine, and we can reduce that angle to 48. And we have reduced it to an acute angle. So. If you have a look here, grade 11, so I'm just going to check what sine 312 is. And we get this negative 0 0.74 and so on. Okay. If I check this one now, minus sine 48, I get exactly the same answer as you can see there. Okay. So we've reduced a bigger angle to an acute angle. Right, moving on to example or question B. They're asking us to reduce this to an acute angle. So cos 156. So if we go back to yesterday's lesson, 156 degrees is in your second quadrant. So we said 180 minus something gave us that. So 180 degrees minus 156 degrees will give us 24. So what we're saying there is we're saying 180 minus 24 gave us that 156. The next thing, I know that this is in the second quadrant. Okay. So Cos in the second is negative. So this would be negative cos. And we can reduce that angle to 24. Okay. So the next one is question C. And it is tan 735 degrees. So here we have an angle greater than 360. Now, our things only go up to 360 degrees, okay? We only know that up to there. So what I do with something like this is I take the 735 and I subtract 360 from it, okay? So if you have a look here, I've got some angle, and if I subtract 360 from it, all I'm doing is I'm subtracting a full circle from it. So it'll still be at the same position. 
subtract another 360 and you see we're still getting to that same position so i'm not actually changing the degrees i'm just changing the number of revolutions okay so we get 735 minus 360 and we get 375 again we still have an angle greater than 360 so i must still take away another 360 from it so if i subtract another 360 from that i get 15. okay so essentially an angle of 735 degrees is exactly the same as an angle of 15 degrees okay so we now know that this is equal to this so we get tan 15 degrees okay and remember what the question was the question was reduce these to an acute angle so i don't have to do any of this work because 15 degrees is already acute so we've completed that question now if we look at example four example four is saying without using a calculator evaluate the following so question a 10 150 degrees okay so without the use of a calculator first of all 150 degrees remember is in the second quadrant so we know that this is in the second quadrant how do we get into the second quadrant it's 180 minus something so over here 180 degrees minus 150 will give us 30 okay so tan in the second is negative and we've reduced this 150 to 30 degrees so this is now a special angle and you remember from our lesson the other day with special angles we use our triangles okay and with the one triangle we have 60 30 1 2 and root 3 okay and it'll be minus so tan in terms of x y and r is y over x which is opposite over adjacent so we go to sign 30 so opposite would be 1 over adjacent would be root 3 so our final answer here is negative 1 over root 3 all right moving on to the next example again um the question is without using a calculator evaluate the following so we've got sign 1500 okay and as you can see that is way more than 360. so i'm not going to do what i did on the side with the previous one i'm just going to do it on the calculator until i get an angle between zero and 360. so i take the 1500 subtract 360 still much bigger than um 360. so subtract i take that subtract 360. i do it again and again now i've got an angle that's between zero and 360. so we've got sine of 60. now i don't have to reduce this because it's already acute so if i draw up that triangle again because 60 is a special angle we've got 60 30 1 2 root 3. now remember sine is y of r so from 60 y is opposite so this is equal to root 3 over r is your hypotenuse which is 2 and we've solved right question d without the use of a calculator we need to simplify this minus sine squared 1010 degrees so we've got an angle bigger than 360 so I just take that 1110, subtract a 360, subtract another 360 because that's still bigger than 
360 one more time and we get 30 so we've got your one minus sine squared 30. now i don't have to reduce this because it's a, an acute angle okay equals one minus now this is a special angle over here and we know that sine is y over r and what i want to do before i do that grade 11s we know we're going to have this whole thing is squared okay so y for 30 is opposite so opposite 30 is 1 and r is your hypotenuse which is 2 so we get here 1 minus 1 squared is 1 over 2 squared is 4 so 1 minus a quarter gives us 3 quarters. Okay, so grade 11s, I would like you to do exercise 7.4, number 2 and 3 for me, please. Thank you.